Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to create our first model YAML file and then we are going to add test also to it. So I hope you guys are following my video in series and this video also is in sequence to all the steps that I have been explaining in each of my videos sequentially. So in the previous video, we have already created our first SQL model and we have also run it. Now in this particular video, we are going to create our first model YAML file along with the test in dbt core. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on the LinkedIn and as well as, you know, subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it yet. So let's move ahead and I will go back to the project that we have been using, we have been creating till now, which is our stage e-commerce, uh, uh, which is our uh, the look e-commerce data set that we have been using and using that particular data set from the BigQuery. We guys are creating this project and in you know the previous video, I have already shown that how we have created our stage e-commerce SQL model and we have also run it and as a result of the SQL model what we have done we have got the results into the BigQuery as well. So here what we are going to do is now we in the same place where you have your source uh, you know e-commerce YAML file and you have your SQL model as well here itself I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it as stage e-commerce underscore underscore orders dot and I'm going to say it as dot YAML. So I'm going to create a YAML file over here and let me paste the contents that we are going to discuss today. So if you see this YAML file, right, what we have right now. So this YAML file, what it is going to do. So first what we have done, we have read the data from the BigQuery. We are reading the data from the BigQuery and we have also written it back to the BigQuery as well. Now, while we read the data from the BigQuery, you can see I have created a model YAML file over here, which is nothing but stage e-commerce orders.yaml file. Here you can see in the models, right? I am man mentioning the model now. I am saying, hey, go to the stage e-commerce orders, which is nothing which but my SQL model over here, right? So here my SQL model is selecting few columns from the orders table, right? Now here I am describing the test results. I'm describing each of my columns over here in this YAML file, right? Now, if you see, I have defined the name of my SQL model over here. And then if I want to give any description, of my model i can actually give it over here whatever description you want to give you can give it here in the double quotes right if you want to give a multi-line comment that also you can give here using this kind of a comment you can actually go ahead and start writing a multi-line comment as well over here along with the proper indentation so you can do that as well but here for now we are going to put it in double quotes and i'm just going to put it as a single line uh, description so if you see over here i've described my model i have said that this is the description related basically it is for the documentation part right now similarly in this model i have these columns i have the name column which is nothing but uh, like name basically uh, signifies the name of your column right so order id is one of my column user id is one column status is one column created at returned at shipped at delivered at and number of items so all of these are my columns over here so you can actually see that these are nothing but these are my columns so here my number of item is nothing but number of items ordered so i'll just simply replace it over here so these are the columns now here if you see i can actually give a description for each of my columns over here right so i can simply say this is my order id column right so like this i can give a detailed description which helps me in the documentation as well which we are going to discuss later as well in the upcoming videos now similarly if you want to define any test cases right the basic test cases now uh, for the test cases as well, we will have 
more videos but eventually here in the model file itself you can define a lot of tests so for example for this order id column i can simply say tests and i can say that okay this order id should not be null and it should be unique so that kind of basic test i can actually provide it here now similarly i have just skipped the description of you know rest of the uh, columns you i hope you understood the basic behind it now i will give you one more test so if you go over here the name status right so status is one of the columns so if you see over here status is one of the columns so i am saying hey in the description i can say hey this is status of my order right this can be the description and then in the test i am saying that if i want to pass in only you know few accepted values that hey give me an error if you are getting values apart from these designated values right in that case i can say that my test is nothing but it is ex it has to accept few values so i can simply say accepted values and if i want now this name is again this name is only for the documentation part it will help you to document your test cases so name means unexpected order status right this is the test case that i am running so this is this you can write it you can put any name over here this is the name of your test case right so accepted values no now the first what i have to told you i have told you the tests of not null and unique here i am say telling you the test of accepted values now here you have document just for the documentation part you can provide any name over here which will help you to track your tests when they run and then here i'm describing the accepted value so processing cancel shipped complete and return so if you actually go to the big query right over here so in the order status part if you go and check right uh, let's say select distinct status right and if i say that if i say select distinct status and if i run it so you will actually see that let's s t a t u s i have just given the correct name now if i run this you can actually see the result cancelled complete processing returned and shipped right so exactly these five statuses i am saying should be present over here right so this is exactly how you can actually mention the tests as well now in the next step as a next step i need to run this right i need to run this model so if you see over here i am at stage e-commerce orders.yaml now if i say that dbt test and if i say minus s right and then i provide the name stage e-commerce underscore underscore orders right and i hit enter so what it is going to do is it is going to run my this model.yaml file and it is going to run the tests right so you can actually see the output over here if you see over here it has started running and it has said you can see that test not null it has run this test it has run the second uh, it has you know uh, started checking your unexpected order status as well and it has said pass pass and pass so this is how actually it has run your test so now let's do one thing now let me remove one of these values right let me say i am removing processing from here now the moment i remove processing for here from here let me just simply save it and let me again run the same command let me just clear the output over here and if i run the same command again right because i have already removed from here i have removed one value from here now again it has started running the test and let's see what happens when it has it has got one unexpected value because here if you see what i have said here processing is something that i have removed right uh, now if i have removed it and but when it is going to the big query and it is reading that particular column it is getting that value right so, but that is not expected as per my test case so what it has done you can actually see that it says completed with one error and zero warning it has it has failed it has failed it has said fail one expected order status it has given you right and and it has also compiled your code so if you see compile code at you know this particular location which is nothing but it is inside your project itself in the target if you see compile it has compiled it now let me just simply go to this particular location you can see it has 
compile your test case now this is the actual test case test case which it is running right with all values as select status right it is selecting the status value and it is counting all the records for each of the status in in that for, uh, for each of the values in the status column and then what it is doing it is saying that select all the values which are not found in these values because these four values are the ones which i have provided right in my test case i have provided these four values i have removed processing so it is saying get all the values where field uh, the value is not in this so if you are getting anything out uh, any output from here what does this mean this means that your test case has failed right so now if i if i actually copy it and i try to run it even in bigquery over here and i run this test case what will happen is i will get the result because i have this processing field which i have removed right and it has number of records so that is why my test case has actually failed over here right so it compiles everything so i hope you understood this you like this particular video in case you guys did not understand it in one go i do recommend watching this video again so it actually gives you a very good idea on how dbt is working how you are adding the tests as well to the dbt so thank you so much for being till here but do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel as well